In this video, we're going to learn how to link a dialog page to a character. Now, I am in my Stories tab, and I'm in my Finding Old Man Smith's Dog. I'm in this story, and when I clicked on that folder, I see that I now have two actors. I have Mom, and there's one response for Mom, and I created a new character called Doggy, and Doggy does not have any responses. And I notice that there is a button here to create a dialog page. And I want to create a dialog page for my doggy. So I'm going to click on this Create Dialog Page box. Now when I do, a new window will pop up. And this is very similar to what you've already done before. I'm going to put in my designer title. And my designer title is going to be Doggy action scene. This will be the scene where I will see my player interacting with Doggy. Now under view style yours should say side. If it doesn't go ahead and change it to side. It should always be on side. Since mine was on full I wanted to change it to side. And remember that your header is your name of your NPC or your character. An NPC is just, it just means a character in your story. So I'm going to put in the name of my character or my NPC, that's Doggy. And now I'm going to type what Doggy says. Well, dogs don't say very much, do they? Mine is just going to say chomp, chomp, chomp. And I'm going to put some quotation marks around chomp, 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 just because that's the way I like to do it. And what do you think my dog is chomping on? He's chomping on that steak. But I don't know that from my dialogue, right? So I better go ahead and put something in my player's response that lets me know that that's what my dog is chewing on. So I'm going to click Add Response. Remember, this is what my player is saying to Doggy. And what my player is going to say to Doggy is, hope you like the steak, Doggy. Oh, you must be thirsty. I will get you some water. And since I, I think I'll actually make Doggy capital because I'm calling my character Doggy. So that's his name. We'll capitalize that. I will then select close, go home, that will show me the cue pod when I close the page. If I just had close window, it would just close it, but it wouldn't show me the cue pod. But I sort of like seeing the cue pod. I'm proud of my cue pod, so I'm going to click close, go home. Later, we'll come back in and add some effects. But for now, all I'm going to do is save. And remember, I can scroll up to the top and I can even click on See Page to look at what my page looks like. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Hope you like the steak, doggy. So I've created my page. Now I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to refresh this page. Do you know how to refresh? It's really easy. You just right click on your mouse. If you have a Mac, you can hit Control and click. That'll be the same thing as a right click. And it brings up a little box where you can either hit Reload or Refresh. They're called different things on different computers. And then I'm going to click on this folder again. And now I see that here's Doggy, but wait a second, there's no response here. And I see that there's a response underneath. Here's that page I just created. So I need to link this page to Doggy. And what can I use to do that? Well, I want to change the fact that I have zero responses. So that's right, you guessed it. I'm going to click on the pencil to edit Doggy. Now, here's my page. Here's my doggy page and here's my description. And I click Add Story Point or Add Response. Yours might say Story Point. And instead of create a new dialog page, I want to link a page I have already created. So I use this arrow 
and I don't want to select the mom setup page because this is doggy. I want to select the doggy action scene. I select that just by clicking on it and I click update actor. Now when I close this page and remember I'm going to right click and refresh or reload and click on this folder again. Now look, Doggy has a response. I can even click on this folder and I can see that here is Doggy's action scene. It is linked to Doggy. Now I'm ready to build a much more complicated a dialogue page, but it'll be a cinch for you. Stick around for the next video and we'll create a new dialogue page that links two dialogues together.